Hey Sag, how are you guys? Okay, getting ready to do a reading for y'all. Okay, I'm hearing Grand Slam for some <laughs> Maybe somebody's at a baseball game. What is Grand Slam? Maybe they're eating at Denny's. <laughs> I think that's like one of their breakfasts. Interesting. My grandmother was coming through in your meditation, which was really weird because she doesn't really come through very often usually unless there's something really important but I wasn't I was seeing her I wasn't really getting it's definitely getting her energy oh you know what she is a Sagittarius actually <clears throat> December the 13th <clears throat> hmm it's interesting that my throat chakra is all of a sudden trying to close up a little bit I don't know what that's by uh, what that's about so first of all let me address background noise you're going to have some background noise where I do my readings that is downstairs and so I actually run a little separate uh, unit for that one so if you hear if it's too much obviously just log out I mean this reading's not for you I feel like it will reach the, one, the ones that need it will power through the little bit of noise in the background I, I listen to my reading so I know it's not that bad but I know someone commented on it so <clears throat> it is what it is it's either you power through it or, you know, I'll die of heat exhaustion. So I think we both know how, who's going to win out here. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. I want to go back to my grandmother. I don't know why. Because I feel like that's relevant in some way to you guys. So when I think now she's a really strong kind of when she's a really strong influence or has always been a strong influence actually in my life a very strong person highly creative I always tell people she's like Picasso in the garden and maybe this is about someone that is needing to do something like that maybe somebody here needs to really access <clears throat> step into a more powerful dynamic in a sense <clears throat> I don't know why I keep going to creativity listen to how my throat is trying to lock up it was not like this at all <clears throat> somebody definitely needs to hear this and and somebody definitely doesn't want you to apparently so somebody here needs to take their power back is what I'm getting and I feel like this is somebody here that might have been teetering on some things or feeling like they're being left out or left behind in some way Yeah, I think that the, okay, so this is definitely somebody, you must be somebody here who has a, either a broad array of talent or one massive talent here that, that needs to, to either come out or needs to be nurtured in a sense is what I'm feeling. I just talked about my grandmother being Picasso. Picasso is of course a painter. Maybe it has something to do with painting, but it could be, do, it could have to do with anything artistic or creative is what I'm feeling or just a talent. I feel like, okay, I hate to use the term dumbing themselves down, but I do feel like that. I feel like someone feels like they're settling for less <clears throat> or something here might be in the way of their progress or getting in the way of their progress. This is so interesting that she's coming through. I don't know why I'm just making these correlations very quickly. Of course, it's like saying, know who you are. Okay, now, so now I'm thinking about how before we come into the world, how we already, they say that we pick our parents, right? We pick, uh, we know that we have to accomplish certain goals or uh, work through certain karmic um, lessons, right? Get through certain cycles, things like that, to learn, to grow, to evolve. So even coming in, born in, in the month that we are, at the time that we are, stuff like that, all of that is allegedly, I believe it is actually, but you know, allegedly, according to spirituality, kind of preordained in a sense. And I feel kind of like that's where she's taking me with this. It's almost like saying, remember who the fuck you are. That's what I feel. Remember who you are. You've been given certain gifts, certain talents, certain ways to see things, this beautiful kind of enlightened perspective. Um, yeah, so that you can push through this. All right. So if you're feeling like something is weighing you down, and this is kind of what I'm feeling for whatever reason, or like you're, you're kind of right there, which is interesting because I think we did a reading not long ago. It might have been the last reading, actually about needing to release something or to heal something. Maybe this is what it is, but I almost feel like I'm right in the situation right now for some reason. So I think what I'm trying to say is maybe don't play small. 
okay? If there's something that you need to release or if there's a situation that you're trying to get out of, you need to keep thinking big. Don't get down on yourself. And also, don't dumb yourself down, you know, for other people. I don't even think it's that. Let me see if I can read this energy. I don't know that you're necessarily playing small. No, you could be playing small. I don't think you're dumbing yourself down intentionally for other people. I feel like you're not stepping up to your full potential. That's what I'm getting. So if you think about even me using the term Picasso, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a, that's a huge presence. This is someone who um, had, you know, a lot of people, they're notorious, right? And a lot of people know them and... They've been very he's been very impactful in people's lives I mean that's that's the way I feel and so that doesn't mean that you have to go out and paint you know some some gorgeous painting or write a book or anything like that it's just that you were made for more that's what I'm getting that's the way I feel about it so if you're stuck or if you're feeling that way in your head I really feel like you got to get yourself out of this space Okay, and remember who you are and that you do have purpose. And I, I'm sorry I keep going in loops here, but I really feel like I need to go back to even you coming in when you came in with the certain traits um, that are written right there in the stars for you. There is a reason for that, you know, and it's kind of like, what are you going to do with that? All right, Spirit, let's keep going. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at that. Knowledge knowledge is power maybe you need this maybe you're maybe you're spending some time brushing up on knowledge learning some new things reading books um maybe you're even watching videos you know this could also be things about motivation this could be getting downloads as well i feel like uh i could definitely be dealing with an academic of sorts i, I want to tell you knowledge is power that's what I feel like you need to hear. You know what I'm saying? I think you have a lot. I talked about dumbing down too, incidentally. I did use that term. Maybe someone has a lot of knowledge that they're kind of keeping to their self. And that's kind of what she's saying. You've got to get that out here. Yeah, look at this. We have water as well. So look at that jealousy. I feel like you could be, and maybe this is what it has to do with. This could be a situation that you're very uh, emotional about and I really think you have a really sweet sensitivity about you as well with this water energy this, this is kind of a very beautiful emotional but also intuitive energy that might be where a lot of your knowledge is coming from maybe the reason she was talking about or giving me the indication about playing small has to do with some kind of jealousy maybe you feel like you have to do that you have to keep some of this stuff to yourself <clears throat> because you know that you have kind of prying eyes around you, if you will, right? Some kind of jealousy that is actually around you. But the, I'm sorry, the jealousy is coming from this is what I feel. So they already know. Hmm. So the jealousy is actually coming because of something that you do, some knowledge that you have, some way that you actually present yourself to others, to the world, so to speak. You know, it may also have to do with the fact that you seem to have really good boundaries, but this could also, just based on the energy coming in for some of you, it's, it's a need to really assert some strong boundaries. Because everybody is not on your side is what I feel. And this, listen, I hate to say, it, this feels like a lot of envy to me. Again, I'm going to go back to how you're coming across. You're very knowledgeable, number one. Okay, you have a lot of information that you, maybe you share with others, a lot of wisdom perhaps that you share with others, but there's also this really beautiful kind of softer aspect of you as well. Male or female does not matter. I feel like the way that you communicate, um, people tend to gravitate towards that or need that information. So you could be helping. Well, I'm sure you're helping people in some way. It doesn't even matter how. Because I feel like people are gravitating towards whatever this energy is that you're putting out. And also, this it's almost like an intuitive wisdom. So I'm getting the downloads, right? And when somebody needs help, you're being used as a vessel. Oh, my God, it all makes sense. I'm so sorry. This is the way my stories come in, though. I have to allow them to unravel as they go if you've never watched me before. So this is what I'm... That's what she's talking about, basically. Okay. Um... So this is definitely, 
this is a need to really start to I, I don't know if you're not sharing a lot of that or dumbing down or keeping some of that to yourself because you do recognize that this is really what's around you yeah and I I don't know why I feel like for some of you it needs to come out more and you may not be doing that and this is the push right now going back to what I said I felt like she was saying even the time that you come in these these things that come natural to you just from being a Sagittarius alone okay it's time to really start um, letting that out okay that's a big part of who you are and and I do think that people gravitate towards it so I'm gonna go to Sag just being notoriously uh, honest <laughs> okay we don't hold back on a lot of stuff generally we do learn to finesse a little bit thank God um, and with wisdom however so that it's not so hurtful but sometimes we can just say things that are just so blunt and honest but I feel like that's needed and you know there is a lot of illusions as we know in the world right now but also with the fact that I think that there is this awakening that has taken place this is part of it so there, there's definitely a need to to do that or to continue to do that I would say be aware of this that is around you but you, I mean, what can you do with it? You know, you can just continue to be who you are is what I feel. I don't know what else you could possibly do with that. You're always going to have naysayers or people that maybe are not in alignment with you or they get triggered by, you know, who you are as an individual. But you can't, there's nothing you can do with that. I do feel like there's some returns as well. You could have people trying to come back into your life in some way. I feel like this is people that you've known before or people that you've actually dealt with. So maybe it could be from a work environment, from an old work environment is what I just heard. Okay, or people that maybe or are somewhere that you know. I don't know what you're doing here. I feel like there's some visual on you or, or people see you or maybe they know you're doing well. They could just follow your social media. Yeah, look at that. Relationships. What I feel like people are seeing you or know that you're doing well or like you're you're doing something here I feel like I'm in disbelief but I don't know why it's it's your whole approach seems different to me Saj and I don't know why not different in a bad way in a good way like I feel like I'm an outsider looking at you and there's like so much change so much transition it's almost like what the hell like this is not either it's not who you were before or you came off differently before it's interesting that I talked about how we can be so blunt sometimes you know in, in our need to tell the truth that it can come across a bit scathing I almost feel like that this is the transition because now I'm talking about you being lovable and intuitive and even you know emotional with people people are watching this this softest softer side of you actually emerge and also how knowledgeable you are it's almost like someone didn't know that or they didn't realize that about you and this may have been what I was okay maybe this is what she was trying to get across here maybe it's because you had some kind of boundary because you understood you had to kind of that was the downplaying right you couldn't let it all out because you knew that there was jealousy that was around you Yeah, there's something here. So I, I really feel that there is something here about relationships trying to come back around. These aren't necessarily love relationships at all. I feel like these are just relationships that have been in your life, perhaps friends that you've let go, family members or people that you just have not talked to in a long time. But for some reason, they know that you're doing well or they seek you out for some reason here. Look at this coming out in the 10th house here because they're watching you. They've watched you transform or they see some kind of transformation and I feel like they're very interested in where you're going, your destiny in some way. But I'm going to go back to these two cards. I feel like Spirit is alerting you this to tell you or alerting you to this in an effort to tell you, make sure that you have good boundaries and you don't get caught up in kind of these past things resurfacing. I'm not saying all of them are bad. I just feel like this is what's happening here. Because some people, 
I'll just say there's a little bit of envy about how far you've come or about something that you're doing or maybe how your life is going. Now, you could be as funny again on social media that's maybe posting all of your photos of your vacations or something. That seems such a simplistic thing, but I'm telling you, it could be anything like that. I think you've also, there's something about your career or the way that you've kind of redefined your life in some way, not only in this respect, but even in your career. Maybe others didn't expect you to be successful or, or see you on this path in some ways. It's definitely something you're doing, something about your destiny. Wow, okay, let's keep going. Yeah, you... <laughs> I'm telling you, and look at this, methods for the healing power. You're working, you've been working very hard on something, and I think this is not only yourself, maybe something else that you've been working to really kind of build in your life. You're very dedicated, uh, you're an achiever. I think this is where, this has kind of been what your focus has been on. And I think because of that, maybe people either feel left behind or people that did not think. Maybe they didn't They didn't see this transition coming. They didn't expect this from you. Why do I feel like this is people that could have actually been hating on you actually before? Now watching you kind of redefine everything that is about you, everything that is about your life in some way. It's so funny to me. This card is about diplomacy, and that's what I kept getting here with the whole brutally honest, and now all of a sudden you're, you, know, you have this sensitive side. You've learned to finesse things a little bit, but still tell the truth. Do you see what I'm saying? It's your whole approach is like a game changer. And what did I hear? What does Spirit say coming in? Grand Slam? So a grand slam in baseball is when we like knock it to the fence or knock it over the fence, right? So this is so that's a home run basically, all right? So I I feel like this is what spirit's telling you. You're being looked at as that like you've accomplished something really big and think about when someone hits a grand slam, everybody jumps up, they're cheering and everything. And that could be part of the jealousy here as well. Unfortunately, if, if other people are like cheering you on and stuff and respecting you or your life is just showing up as something that is really representative of who you've become. Okay. Well, you know how I feel about jealousy. I don't, honestly, I don't spend a lot of time focused on that because I don't think that that's something that we can control. But for some reason, this is coming out. I could have somebody who is who is very intelligent number one but i feel like you have accomplished a lot i feel like you're very busy though because i think that a lot of your focus tends to go towards achieving whatever this is that you've kind of got your eyes on or whatever this is that you're engaging in in some way i also feel you have the the people that are around you or whoever this is they're analyzing you in some way because i think that regardless of the jealousy or the triggers that seem to be coming out, they want to learn something in some way. They feel like there's something to learn from you in some way. Methods for the healing power. I wonder if you're doing something that involves healing other people or helping other people to heal, even to heal or achieve in their own lives. I keep talking about social media for some way, so maybe it is on some kind of platform as well. Okay, Spirit, let's see what else. For my Sagittarius's, please. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The first card is Sagittarius. Temperance card coming right out. It's about you having this beautiful, balanced perspective on life. I feel like you're a man. Of, I feel like I'm dealing with somebody who knows how to manifest. They are. They're working with what they have. Going back to what I was talking about before. Even you know, coming in as a Sag, having. Um, this access, right? But also just having this higher understanding and this pull towards more spiritual knowledge and how things work in the universe and staying connected, all of that. I think you have been working that and you've grown um, immensely from whatever you've been focusing on and doing. This shows me you're a very balanced person, okay? That you have a very balanced and harmonious perspective on life and how to create in life. Five of Cups here. One second. Yeah, look at that. I think somebody is focused on that. This is a person that's going through their own loss is what I feel. 
I don't know if you also help people that go through some kind of trauma as well, some kind of loss of their own, help them get through some kind of changes. I think someone is watching you and they may have actually saw you. That's interesting. I'm telling you, somebody here could have saw you go through a lot of things to get to where you are. That's what I feel. Someone could have thought that you were down in a particular situation. Now they're seeing you show up and it's, it's almost like you've recreated everything about yourself. Ace of Cups shows me that you could feel and it's almost like I'm exuding self-love in some way, right? And this could be reflected in your relationships. Um, yeah, look at that. Look at these cars. I'm I'm so interested in this because I wonder if this is somebody around you because this energy looks a bit close. It could actually be family. Okay. This could actually be family. This is somebody that could have tried. It doesn't have to be family. It could have been anybody. I feel like this is someone who tried to cause you some kind of pain, some kind of ending here. Right? But it, it's almost like I keep bouncing back. And that's what I keep saying. How how are you going through so much, but you're bouncing back? You have all of this knowledge. That may have been why they were trying to bring you down to begin with, if it, if it was an act of effort here. How are you bouncing back? And despite everything, you seem to come back. You have these really pure intentions, okay, about your life. And it's almost like you're growing in spite of everything that's happening. And I feel like you have some kind of community around you that is really celebrating you. So this could be a community of friends, um, anything like that. Also, for some of you, I definitely feel like there's a move ahead too. Maybe it's a house that you're actually moving to or buying or something like that. But I feel like this is more so about community. I just honestly, Sash, I think it is your point of view that is creating some really great things for you. And I think it's coming after a painful time <clears throat> and transition that you seem to have mastered in some way. The thing about it is, is I think you have such a healthy view on this, according to these cards, that I don't really need to tell you why these people were doing this, because it doesn't matter, right? It's insignificant at this point. I feel like you know people are people. You have good boundaries when it comes to them. You're continuing to focus on whatever this result is that you're trying to get. Okay. I do think this has something to do with your career or your destiny or some kind of path that you feel like you're following here. Yeah, there's some kind of blessing I feel like that is coming in for you as well. This is a, By the way, I predicted something last week and it happened for me Friday. <laughs> The reading was for y'all, but it happened to me. So, I mean, that was pretty nice. That does happen from time to time, but I didn't see this one coming at all. So, hopefully it's happening for you guys, too. All right. Or you're seeing some kind of value with the readings. Yeah, look at this. See, you're being celebrated in some way. That's what I feel. Okay? You could be, you could have people around you that, that really care about you. I'm telling you, it has something to do with your truth. I kept feeling that up here. There's something that you do that's breaking the norm, okay? And I think other people are realizing this about you, too. That's what I feel. Maybe people that once opposed you in some way, people that you could have cut off or who could have tried to cause you some kind of loss in your life, they're trying to learn from you because you're bouncing back in every possible way. But the thing is, you're not just bouncing back. I think you're doing it so tastefully just because I can see you here exercising so much self-love and patience and pure intentions despite going through so much BS here and I listen I don't know why I do know why I think it was coming through in the beginning about you know why did you come in as a Sag why do you have this higher view of things you know that sort of thing because I think that that is important to this you know, maybe some of you need to look at that or you need to really dig deep to figure out more so, you know, more about, I think you know who you are, but lean into those really prominent, um, I think, descriptives about yourself that you can say, okay, this is this is who I am. You know, I can get through this. I can get through anything because I, whoever I'm talking to here has already figured that out. And other people are figuring out as well that you know how to do this. You know how to adjust your life, how to change I think what you're getting here is, you know, whatever I put out, I'm going to get back. So if I'm putting, if I'm giving back a lot of negativity, my life's going to be shitty. But if I am changing myself and using this to really empower me, 
my life is just going to get better. And guess what, Sag? Your life is just getting better. Okay, this has been a consistent message for at least the last four or five readings. All right. We're seeing a, another bit of a breakdown here as well, but I think it's important to know. I feel like we're trying to get some of you guys over the hump in a sense. Whatever you're doing, I think other people are seeing the truth about you, and I feel like you are seeing the truth as well. I feel like you have sacrificed or you feel like, oh, you know what? I don't think that's you, actually. This is going back again. I feel like somebody here feels like they are... They're trying to surrender and learn. That's what I feel. Watch and learn. That's what I feel. And somebody could definitely be watching you just the way that I just got that. I feel like someone here feels like their life has been pretty stagnant. Okay. But they are trying to watch and learn. Because they know whatever you're doing is working. It is. They know whatever you're doing here is working. They could be watching you on the World Wide Web. All right. So they could definitely be following your story or anything like that. They know that you have found some sense of wholeness here. You have a very deep, uh, I feel like it's more intrinsic, honestly, um, knowing of sorts. Okay, this knowledge that is about you, that is that could be helping you, assisting you, guiding you in some way that you thoroughly believe in. That's what I feel. There's a part of you that's a bit mysterious as well, though, because you know that you have to be that way, but it's because you're so, I feel like you're divinely connected here. Knight of Coins, and this is something I think that you have developed. Okay, look at this, Two of Cups on the bottom, we keep seeing that coming through too. I think this is something that you have worked hard on. This is something that has been a slow and steady progress for you to continue to kind of better yourself, to better your life. Maybe I was coming through with my grandmother so heavily and talking about Picasso because there is definitely something that is about to break open. I, you have so much more going on within you. I feel like that that is waiting to kind of come out. And the more connected you get, the bigger this, this whatever this is that's actually trying to come out here is going to become. That's what I feel. It's some kind of dream imagined, you know. I do feel like some of you guys are working like a lot to just make sure, but there's such a passion behind whatever this is, so it doesn't seem to bother you, but make sure that you are um, having a good balance is what I want to say, uh, want to say between like your work and yeah, with your work life, because I feel like some of you are working very hard. That's what I get. Yeah. Somebody here around you, and I don't know who this is. I, I don't know if this is people you're, I don't feel like it is. I think this happens, this has to do with some kind of jealousy here. Somebody could be a bit envious about these changes, the way that you came back. This makes me think that you were quiet while going through the changes, and now you've came back in a pretty strong way that others did not expect to see. And I love it that you're so results focused too. Like you're not, it's almost like I, I don't have time to focus on that because I'm too busy, busy focusing on where my life is going and what I'm achieving here. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let me see if I can get some more from this. Spirit, what else for Sagittarius, please? Picasso in the garden. My grandmother had... First of all, I didn't even know her house was so small. Why am I telling? Well, I know there's a reason, so I'm going to share it. Until after she died, and she, because she had, her land was so bountiful. Like, she literally planted beautiful flowers everywhere. They were everywhere. Flowers and bushes and vines and every possible kind of tree. Apple tree, pomegranate tree, lemon tree. Um, you name it. I mean, was everywhere. So after she died and I went by her house like five years later, I passed it. I didn't even know I passed her house. And my brother was like, well, that's grandma's house. And I was like, no, it's not. And he was like, yeah, it is. So I had to turn around and go back because when all of that was gone, it just looked like a little bitty small house. And obviously the people, whoever had it, had let it go by this point. And I guess I'm telling you this, maybe to tell you, Maybe to remind you, okay, how bountiful things can be. 
You don't have to be in that little bitty house that's dried up, okay? That doesn't have all of this beauty and magnificence around you because it is available to you, but you have to believe it, okay? And even create it from within, okay? To kind of have that around you. Wow. Okay. Somebody is playing music upstairs. Uh-uh. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. I'm trying to... First of all, I just dropped a bunch of cards, but I'm just trying to see who's doing that. Okay. Spirit, what else for Sagittarius? Yeah, look at that. So this is a card of, you could have Pisces, that highly aspected in your chart. Look at this. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go to this devil card real quick. I'm going to cover that in two different ways because I do feel this is the jealousy that is coming towards you. But I also feel some of you guys, I talked about having a good work-life balance because I do feel some of you are putting in a lot, a lot of hours. It's almost like um, I'm so focused, almost obsessed with whatever this journey is that I'm doing as well. But I don't view yours, to be honest with you, with the rest of the cards, I can't really say that you're doing that for, in, in like a negative way, like an obsession towards, a, you know, kind of way, negatively. Okay, I just think you're, ha you're heavily focused on it is what I'm getting. I do think this is that jealousy that is around you. You're getting something, Sag. I feel it. I, well, first of all, I know it now because I just told you something happened for me last week. And I know that it's all in our energy and our collective energy. So I feel like you have some kind of abundance that has come to you or your business. Whatever you're doing here, whatever this creation is, is going to be flowing smoothly and quite abundant is what I feel. It's also bringing you a sense of freedom that I feel like other people... Only these, the jealous people, whoever's been watching you, okay, can are a bit obsessed about. Okay, these are people that could be very materialistic, okay, and yet they're watching you kind of accomplish so much stuff due to your own knowledge. How do you know this? But the thing is, I don't know that they actually see all the work that went into this. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know that they see that. There is a lot of support, I feel like, that is around you. Um... Also protection. Okay, I see butterflies here, which obviously show me, shows me here that you have, um, you've transformed in some way that's very positive as well. I feel like you have someone here though that is also around you. I saw two of cups on the bottom too. That could be a companion, or uh, I feel like it's. I don't know why I keep wanting to go back to community. It could just be a companion here or soulmate energy that is really watching you, watching you achieve. This could be somebody that's actually at a distance from you. I also feel this has to do with your lifestyle, to be honest with you. You're achieving a lot. You could be traveling a lot, taking vacations, relocating, that sort of stuff. There could be a lot of movement, but I feel like you have somebody that's watching you that wants to relocate too. Mm. When Aries here, Capricorn. Yeah, look. I'm, I'm telling you, somebody has got their eye on you. And that's the dog. So the dog can just be a friend. Somebody who really values you. Somebody who is loyal to you. But it is definitely a soulmate-ish kind of energy. But a soulmate doesn't have to be a lover. Somebody can see your hard work and dedication. Not only in whatever you're doing here, but also to self is reaping some very big benefits. This could be a Virgo as well, okay? I feel like whoever this is is wanting to learn or cooperate with you in some way because they see, again, the sweet results that are coming as a result of whatever you're doing here. I think somebody is really putting you on a pedestal is what I'm getting, but I don't know who that, you're gonna have to tell me who this is actually in your life because I can't really see. That this could be a person that knows that they need to change something honestly because I feel like there's excess around this card with the devil energy this could be a person who knows that they have lived a life that was different maybe this person was so focused on material instead of on doing the work okay and then they see you focusing on doing the work and because of that you're gaining the material or you're gaining the abundance in some way it's, it feels like something like that to me 
But the thing about it is, is I feel like they do have some kind of loyalty for you, some kind of trust in you. You know what I'm saying? They could feel very protective over you and something that you're doing as well. I'm, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody here puts you on a pedestal. I don't know who this is, so. Uh-uh. One second. All right, let me get some outcome cards for you because honestly, I'm wondering why. So, Spirit, what does Sag need to know regarding all of this? What does Sagittarius need to know regarding all of this? I think, first of all, your slow and steady progress is, is bringing you pretty massive benefits right now. Look at that King of Cups. I'm sorry, that's the Knight of Cups. There's the Devil again. But also, it could be bringing people towards you um, that want something for you. And that's what I'm getting. These are the boundaries again. People that could be coming towards you actually love bombing, okay? Um, and this is the thing about, especially if you're achieving some kind of success, Sag, you need to always make sure that you are discerning properly, always, because people will come in and they'll lay it on and you're the greatest thing ever, but they could have a very, um, let's just say that they could have some ulterior, or ulterior motives, okay, and what they're doing, and that's kind of what I'm getting here. I feel like somebody wants to come towards you pretty quickly, but this person, I just don't think they're being honest. They're hiding some things. This is somebody here that's very tempted by you. You could have ended something with them, or they just see your transformation here, your new beginning is what I feel. This person could definitely be a manipulator of sorts, okay? Again, jealousy because of the jealousy. Yeah, and I feel like they can say all the right things, but when it comes to it, they don't really follow through. The bottom line is you have something that they want. That's what I feel. <clears throat> you have something that they want. I don't think this is just necessarily the friend here. <clears throat> I think that you're actually dealing with someone else here. I, I feel like you could have several people, so I don't know what it is that you do, but I feel like this could be actually coming from more than one person. Just make sure that you're aware of that. I said, what does Sagittarius need to go on? No, and I feel like Spirit is saying to me, that you may be reaching a height in your career or whatever it is that you're doing where you're going to start running into these energies and you need to remember everybody is not your friend. Some people want something for you. You have to have good boundaries. It's because of the jealousy. You know, when you, if you watch anything on social media, honestly, and you see these guys that start getting bigger, especially ones with channel, Instagram, stuff like that, <clears throat> they start to get bigger and whatever they're doing. I, I saw a thing the other day with someone that was doing like credit repair, but then they wanted to start flaunting, you know, all the money they've made from it and how they're living and blah, blah, blah. Well, of course they both got taken down and, uh, and people love that. And that's kind of what happens here. That's the nature. We trigger people and then they want to see us fall. It's terrible, right? So you got to always make sure, and I feel like you have enough wisdom here with knowledge here and you coming out in this high priest energy to recognize that. It's not to make you paranoid. It's just to make you discerning. Everybody does not have your best interest at heart. For some people, you're a paycheck. For some people, <clears throat> you know, they want to be associated with you due to clout or what you bring to the table, something like that. Some of you, they might want to learn your skills, but they don't want to do the inner work. And I feel like it is the inner work that got you here to getting this outer result. So I would just say, especially if you're teaching other people, keep doing what you're doing. But at the same token, leave these people at bay. And I don't know why I feel like this could be people that you've already dealt with. For some of you, that will be true. You could have people, I don't know when Mer Mercury retrograde is, it doesn't have to be that, but I'm feeling something around that where people just start appearing back in your life. Yeah. Yep. And I see this Two of Cups energy too. And I think that this love, this equality, this mutual respect that's what you want. I feel like that is your goal, but that may also be what they are presenting here due to this. Okay, I don't trust this person. I don't trust them. I feel like they the energy that's coming through is definitely this manipulative energy. I almost feel like this would end up being a hindrance for you, so I want you to really pay attention to that. Don't let, I hate to say also, don't let things, especially if you're on a platform or something when you feel like you're really expanding or you're getting notoriety in some sense, don't let your head get away from you, okay? It's important that you continue to stay grounded. You've worked so hard to get to where you are. Stay grounded in what you know to be true, okay? 
and I'm going to go back to your essence, even in your essence here, so that you don't allow things to get out of control or people to give you a swollen head in some way, okay, because there is a reason behind that, all right, some kind of powerful movement that you're making in your life, I can already see, and this is what spirit is saying to me, you know, make sure that you close that stuff down and have boundaries because there's something new that's actually beginning for you that is just so beautiful is what I feel. There's definitely an awakening. I've been seeing this, but you might be feeling it at this point because it almost feels like a, that there's kind of a blissful. You might find yourself going in and out of kind of a blissful state here. Something is happening for you. I feel it so strongly. So let me get some last stuff here. Let me get some last words of advice for Sagittarius spirit. What do you want Sagittarius to know here? I feel like somebody is so eager to talk to you. They might be already trying. If not, I feel like they will, but I feel like they're, you're going to hear from somebody that you haven't heard from in a very, very long time. Whatever you've been putting off, don't procrastinate any longer. Tackle that long overdue project. You'll feel better once you begin. Start with one thing at a time. Thoughts and ideas not acted on or just laying in wait. You can do this. I'm, this goes all the way back to the beginning where my grandmother was coming in and talking about, you know, basically, and I started talking about Picasso and having something really special within you. All right, you got to let it out. It's time to get on it. So if you've been doing a lot of work, okay, internally, now it's time to execute. That's what I feel. Be clear about where you're putting your focus right now. Focused on your desired outcome. You have everything within to create the life of your dream. Stop doubting yourself for once. This is your time. We've got you. See, spirit is back in this a thousand percent. Okay, my meditations always end up intertwining with the cards naturally. And now you're seeing it all the way up to the confirmation at the end. Spirit has you. They're trying to push you out of this comfort zone. You've worked very hard to get to this space. Okay, you have a ton of knowledge, right? You're really tuned in. I feel like with the universe here, you know how to create. And it's time to really start putting yourself out there in a bigger way. Because I really feel there is definitely some big change, some powerful movement that is happening for you due to your inner transformation, I do. But don't allow these people to come back in because they only serve to hinder you in some way in your progress. Okay, you're right where you need to be right now to sprout. That's what I feel. All right, Sag, love you guys. Thank you for being here. I will see you soon. Bye.